All right, welcome back to another stream. And in this one, we are going to continue our work on the meta tags. So the last time we managed to get the correct descriptions and the correct title showing up in here using something called React Snap that allowed us to skip server-side rendering work. So in this one, we are going to be focusing on putting some pictures in here. So when someone shares um, our website on Slack, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or Google, this is what it looks like. And there's another tool that one of my friends did. This is what it looks like according to his tool. There is no image in here, as you can see. These areas are just white and empty. And in this one, we're going to fix that. I have prepared some images. So this is the homepage image. This is for the CV. This is for the blog. This is for the not found page. They're not the prettiest images, but it's much better than not having anything there. So let's get started. There's this um, article about how you can use the meta tags to make sure all of your images show up correctly. So there is the open graph protocol. I believe this was founded by Facebook. Here are all of the essential media tags that you need to make sure the image displays and also the title and the description are correct. Okay, so this is the title. This is the description for the open graph protocol. This is the image that shows up on social media share areas, share cards, let's say. I don't know. This is the URL that you are currently on, I believe. This is how you want your tweet to look like. So summary, summary large image just puts a large image and then the link at the bottom. I'm sure you've seen it on Twitter if you're using it. Um, so this is the site name. I'm not sure if this is super essential. It just says non-essential here. I'm, I'm not going to put this one I because I haven't been able to understand what it exactly does. I have been looking for it, but I didn't get a proper definition of what this thing is. So I'm just going to skip it for now and I'm going to keep researching it. The next one is the alt image for visually impaired people who are reading Twitter. So if they see an image, there should be an image description. This is a nice thing to have. So I'll just copy these, all of these things. And I'm going to go back to my meta decorator here. Let's paste them all. And let's remove this one. You're going to clean up this file quite a lot. So these things need a forward slash at the end. And yeah, that's it. So what else do we need to pass to Meta Decorator now that we've made all of those changes? We have a title, we have a description, we have a title and description in here. We have an image URL, so that's new. So you're going to have um, an image URL and we have an image description now. Actually, I'm just going to call it image alt. Okay, let's put those properties in there because both of them are going to be required. So image URL, prop types. Okay, let's put those things into use in their correct places. So image URL goes to here. Image alt needs to go there. I'm not going to use the site name just like I said. I don't know. I still don't know what it is. I'm just going to take a look and maybe I'll do a stream if I figure it out. Or maybe if you know, just let me know in the comments. Yeah, so this is the current window URL. Okay, let's figure out the way to get the current URL. So I want to get the relative URL. There's a very good reason for it. Okay, this is how you get it. Because when React Snap is crawling through our website, it's going to put localhost in there. And we don't want localhost. We want to make sure that we put the correct host name so it, our images are reachable. Um, I'm going to show you what I mean by that when I am done with um, the deployment stuff. Okay, so description. This is not the correct description. Let's put that description down here. Um, and this is going to be the title. So let's move that there. Let's put this into use now. So let's go to home. And I have imported all of the images in here so we can use them right away. So image alt is going to be, um, I put the um, correct co um, stuff in inside um, the content JSON. So I've put these things offline in here so we can just skip writing these in the stream. But I placed all of these things in the JSON and I have imported all of the images as you can see in here. So image URL is going to be that thing. All right, we can clean this up now. Let's go to blog. And in the blog, you're going to have image URL. Image URL is going to be meta thumbnail. And image alt is going to be blog.meta image alt. 
Okay, let's go to the next one. This is um, the CV one. So image alt is going to be um, interactive resume dot meta image alt. Okay, that looks good. So one, two, three, we have three pages. We are missing one of them, I believe. Yeah, we have done it for the blog. We have done it for the CV for the homepage. Okay, we haven't done it for the 404 page, right? Image URL is going to be at the thumbnail. Okay, so that's done and everything should be working now. Okay, let me demonstrate you the problem that I mentioned before about these two things. Okay, let's do um, a serve. So this is gonna do a local build on my local machine and it's gonna serve the whole website in localhost. All right, okay, that's done. We can go to localhost. Let's inspect. Let's take a look at the head. So. We have OG URL and this is just a forward slash. This doesn't look right, right? This needs to be the host name and then a forward slash. In this case, we can't put the host name in there because if we are pre-rendering our website with something called React Snap, if we render this with React Snap, all that it's just gonna do is just gonna put um, localhost 5000 whatever and then a forward slash, which is not the correct way to do this. And also this image, it just starts with a forward slash and then it points to the image. If I just copy this URL and paste this in here, we're going to see the correct image being shown. Yes, but not all um, scrape metadata, metadata scrapers are intelligent enough to pick this up. Okay, let me demonstrate that problem to you now. Let's do a deployment. Okay, the deployment is now completed and let's go to meta tags. This is the website that I used to preview the metadata, metadata stuff, and also I use another one called metapreview.app. This was made by one of my friends and it works fine. So according to meta tags, we are not showing an image for the blog, but according to the tool that Sam um, invented, our image is here. So this tool that Sam created is able to pick up this image and let's go to LinkedIn Post Inspector now. So let's search for the blog in this one. So LinkedIn is also able to pick up this image without the host name, but meta, meta tags is not smart enough. And you shouldn't be relying on your clients to be smart enough to do, to, to do things for you. So that's why I'm gonna introduce a little hack in here. I'm gonna create a new JSON file now. And that JSON file is going to contain um, the host name of the website. So data and under data, I'm gonna have another file. I'm going to call this file metadecreator.json and in, in this thing there's only going to be a single thing, hostname. And the hostname is going to be Well, that's literally it. Okay, and we're going to import this file now. So let's remember how we import JSON files. So this is how we import JSON files and we're going to go into metadecreator and we're going to import this, this thing in here. Uh, we call it meta decorator. Uh, we probably need to put more of these. Yeah, okay, that's good. We need to append the host name to, to these things and also that. Does that need to contain a forward slash? No, the image and all the other URLs come with a forward slash anyway. So you need that and this is it. So now metatags.io should be able to pick up all the things that we need as well. Let's do another deployment now. So the deployment has just been completed. Let's go back to metatags.io and let's refresh the site. And as you can see, it has the image now. Let's go back to LinkedIn Post Inspector and let's make sure that still works. Yeah, it seems to be working. Let's try the uh, home page. That seems to be working as well. Let's try the 404 page. Okay, that seems to be working too. Okay, so these are all the meta tags that you need, but there's something that we are still missing. And that is the images for the blog posts. 
I'm trying to come up with a clever solution for these ones because the way that we render helmets for the blog post is a bit complicated. So I have a custom component inside a markdown file which gets picked up by the custom markdown render. There is something else that I need to pass into these things because I can't do an import inside a markdown file, right? I need to figure out a way to tell the React component to import the right image dynamically. So I'm going to dedicate another stream for that problem. But for this one, we have managed to sort out all um, the images for the static pages that we have. And for the blog posts, again, as I said, I'm going to come up with a solution in the next stream. All right. I hope you learned something new and I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.